What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be taking a look at the Black Grimoire Cursebreaker. This one kind of took me by surprise. I'll be honest with you, like I haven't heard anything about this game. I have received no press blast, I have received no emails, I was just kind of skimming through Steam, which is like one of those things that I do in my free time. So much so, in fact, that I was able to turn it into a job here on the internet. I just enjoy putting on music and browsing through Steam. I go through, like, every category, and I'm just like, oh, looks interesting, oh, looks interesting, and I just kind of sit and sort things around. Anyways, the Black Grimoire, I came across it while I was out there, and from the way I've had it described to me, from the things that I've read, and from the things that I've looked into, it seems to me like the game is trying to be, like, a single-player, like, like, a single-player RuneScape. I personally find that idea to be incredibly appealing. Like, I really, really like that idea on a, on a super high level. So we're going to go ahead and check the game out here today and find out whether or not it is that. Uh, there may be a little bit of editing because there's a lot of intro to this game before you actively get to any, like, real gameplay. Uh, there is a lot of storyline for this little prologue, but the game is scheduled to come out reasonably soon. It's not out, like, right now, but it's coming out in the next couple weeks. So I'll have a link for you down below in the description if you wanted to check it out after walking or watching this. And then, of course, if I can get the words out of my mouth. You can also check out my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out there. But I may be editing out some narrative portions just as a warning, just so we can actually get to gameplay. Let's start a new game. Uh, so we've got to make a game name, say. We'll go Splattercat. Sounds good. Create that game. So the first thing we got to do is we got to make our character. So on the left hand side we get 20 points to pick perks and if you've ever played anything like RuneScape or you've played something like New World, you will recognize these almost instantly. The game has everything from fishing to magic casting to tailoring to woodsmaning. I'll probably go with mining, that sounds pretty good. And then I'll probably go with blacksmithing. And then I'll probably go with weapon master because I like to make tanks. And I'll probably go with bulwark which means that we gain a lot more points to defense. That sounds pretty good to me. Like, I want to make a tanky guy. The kind of guy that wades into the thick of it. That battle forge bro. We also got to pick a hairstyle. I don't know, like, mohawks are classy. Let's go with a mohawk, man. I think I could get down off that. We've got, like, a bunch of different colors to mess around with here. I don't want to be, like, too overly redheaded. Like, I'm trying to find something that's somewhere near to what I do. I can't do a mohawk anymore. It's just, it's outside my capabilities. Uh, let's see here. We've got different clothing, too. Oh, dude, they've got the Quest for Glory outfit, man. Yeah, I think I'm okay with looking like I'm straight out of Quest for Glory 4. And our character's name is Rothar Aircrest, the Lord of Emberthale. Cool, man. So, I mean, we're starting out nobility. What's not to love about that? Oh, there's a guy behind us. Hold on, there's a guy behind us. Shoot him. I don't know why that guy just went speeding by in the background, but he's suspicious. I don't like him. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he's about, but I can tell you this. I don't like him. So there's our castle. I skipped a little bit of narrative, but the rough thing you need to know is that we've been visited in our sleep by a lady called the Custodian of Dreams, telling us that a storm is coming and that we only have one last day before the storm arrives. I'm really sorry, I can't protect you from it. Well then, like, how are you the custodian of dreams? Soon it will force you to wake up, but for now... Sweet dreams, my lord. We sleep with our boots on? That's a man of action right there. That's a man who's never nervous about what's to come. That was a strangely vivid dream. Good morning. Sorry, I hate the word sleepyhead. I've got like a, a weird, like it makes my teeth physically hurt. I don't know what it is about that word. I just don't like it. It's one of those weird irrational things. Uh, yeah, I had a weird dream. Well, well enough. Have our guests arrived? They have indeed, all bunched up in the main hall despite efforts from the mistress of the house to keep them apart. There seems to be a situation brewing and it needs your attention. As always, I'm happy to leave politics to you and see to the evening's preparations. All right. I'll go ahead and talk to the guests and break up the fight here. Uh, so the game pretty much 
is kind of like RuneScape, but the controls aren't hitched to like an old tick rate, basically. Uh, so you can rotate the camera around, you can click where you want to go, your character will run all over the place, you get equipment, like there's a big knife right here. So like if I wanted to have a big knife, there you go, I now have big knife. Everybody knows you always pack big knife before you go to a party with all of your friends. What if one of them decides to not be your friend? Then you might need big knife. You fools seem to forget that none of you are in any position to make demands of me. Oh, is that so? Perhaps you'll change your tone when my banner marches for the quarry you insolently placed on my lands, huh? Your own vassal sold me the deed to that land. What's it to me if you can't keep him in check? Who cares about a meaningless quarry in the middle of nowhere? Quite right. The true crime here is the taxes that you levied against foreign merchants standing in the way of free trade. It's outrageous. I should think quite the opposite, Master Galrus. Say, you're free to take your trade anywhere as long as it's outside of my city. Your city? It's your city, is it? Indeed, all this is nothing compared to the corruption that you've brought to the precious city of Thornhill itself. You haven't prevented my husband a seat on the council, and why is that? Are you afraid to have someone who speaks against you? Oh, Dahlia, let's not pretend your husband is actually capable of really anything, apart from serving as your mouthpiece. I've heard enough. Ah, Lord Aircrest, now that you're here, you might be able to tell these bitter imbeciles, you, Tyron, you've stepped on a lot of toes here, but Lord Aircrest, I, for the peace of the realm, I will see you make amends with at least one of the families here today. Being the Lord of the realm, you know that striking compromises between your vassals is essential. You've decided to support the petition of one of the families present in order to balance against the growing power of Baron Goldbridge and gain favors in the process. The question is, who do you support? I don't know who looks the coolest. Let's look at this. This Arnsteel guy looks pretty cool. He's got, like, armor on. Glad to see you're still the Lord of Emberthale, not that the upstart Goldbridge boy. About time he gets shown his place. Pleasure as always, Lord Aircrest. Will you support us then? Not that we couldn't feed that gold bridge lad his own ball sack on our own. My husband means to say that your diplomatic resolution to our issue would be quite welcome, but we're well prepared to defend our interests with force if need be. Uh, don't worry, you can count on my support. Truly, we won't forget this. I mean, he has the coolest outfit, man. That's how I make all my selections in life. I, I don't like to back petty lords that aren't rocking that supreme gear, you know what I mean? Supreme with the pit vipers. I was expecting of this nature long before my arrival. I wish to state in no uncertain terms, Lord Aircrest, that the Goldbridge family will not be bullied. I've come to a decision. Border disputes are the worst. You knew full well that Noble Hills belongs to Armsteel, yet you expanded there anyways. I won't have two of my most well-armed families in my realm feuding, and I expect to see your mining operation withdrawn within the fortnight. You would side with the rats? This is outrageous! I need to get some air. For a moment there, things seemed heated, my lord. I do hope the outside air cools Goldbridge down. I mean, he'll be fine. I'm the king. I'll off with his head if he wants to get rowdy about it. Well, we'll take care of the business. Uh, she wants me to go see a wizard named Kellenthir that has come to visit me. You do get a context menu on anything that you click on. Uh, if you click on, for example, well, I guess the statues don't have an interaction. But one of the old school things I always liked about RuneScape is that, like, everything from a table to a chair to, like, a candle can be inspected. You don't see that level of pointless detail in RPGs anymore. That's very much kind of like a, a remnant of the old Ultima days of, like, the early 90s to the late 90s. I used to have all kinds of weird little details like that in old RPGs where you could like right click on a banner and it would say examine banner and then it would give you like a full paragraph about the banner, what it has on it, what it's meant to be. There's the whiskey because apparently this wizard only likes to cast under the influence. I respect it. Fireballs and fireball. What's not to love there? Good day to you, my lord. After my long travels, I long for one thing. The finest whiskey in the land to warm my bones. The kind that could only be found at the estate of a mighty lord such as yourself. It is true, I am mighty. Thank you for your flattery. A bottle of decade-old glimmer fell. You know how to treat a guest. That does the job. I can feel the wisdom descending upon me. 
Is there anything you can tell me about magic? Most people don't realize is that magic is open to everyone. You have to listen to it. Don't let unfamiliarity prevent you from harnessing its power. Perhaps later I may teach you a thing or two if you're interested. Cool. Help! Dead guards! Arrows! Betrayal! My lord! What's the matter, boy? Uh, it's the Baron. He's attacking the estate. Ah. Uh, never trust a snake. Uh, the guards were rushing to defend as I got here, but the Baron had an awful lot of men. I will join the defense. Kellen Thier, I know it's not your fight, but say no more. For the Baron to ruin a day of celebration like this is disgraceful. I will need a moment to gather my strength first, but I will be right behind you. Are you going to bring that super cool hoodie? Can I have a super cool hoodie? Oh, he's doing like, okay, like he's actually, he's actually doing the Dragon Ball Z thing right now. Like he's hanging out in the backfield just like, ha! Like he's, he's gathering up the spirit bomb. Grab some weapons and plate from the armory, my lord. There we go. We have gathered our weapons. Fail outside and I pointed my weapon Just as I thought the gold bridge got stepping Jumped in the foe, hit the juice in my rind I think we just gotta go this way But we do look a lot cooler right now That's just something you need to be aware of Is that we look rad Alright, we got that lordly plate armor on right now With that lordly sword and it's about to go out here and get some other lord, lordly gourd, you know, with my blade, just mm, ram it through him. Let him have it. Oh, I see the battle ahead. I actually, I like the run animation in this game. Like, the whole thing plays very smoothly and I think looks really good. They've chosen a very, very tasteful color palette to make the whole thing, like, work. It runs smoothly. Like, I don't mind it being a little bit low res because it's very, very obvious to me. Uh, that they're trying to kind of be like RuneScape. Although this kind of reminds me of like the RuneScape retail client. Not like the RuneScape old school, I guess. It, it kind of reminds me of the, the, what's the, what's, the, I've never played like the modern RuneScape. I started playing RuneScape in like 2003. And then I quit in like 2005 and didn't play again until old school RuneScape came out. So I never experienced any of the stuff that happened in between like 2005 Oh no, it looks like you ran out of guards. So I considered your request and I'm afraid my answer is a no. But I would like to make a few requests of my own. The only thing I'll hear is your surrender. You should have hired more men, Tyron. I've had worse odds than this. That guy's really interested in my elbow. Uh, well, suit your son. That is a magnificent and lordly elbow. <laughs> I have been distracted from my normal archery duties. I must gaze upon it. Oh, he's about to hit him with the up. See that wizard's are Goku right there. He hit him with the, the with the Kame Kame Ha! Like uh, bloody maggots. Retreat! And off into the woods he goes. Didn't expect having to perform today. What will you do now? We can't let him go get away. I'm going out. Yeah, man of action. Are you sure? Forgive me for pointing out, but your men are indisposed. If he slips away, he'll get back to Thornhill and raise more men. We need to stop him. I see your reputation is well earned. Well, I'm not so drained that I can't throw a few more spells, and I'd hate to let you face bandits on your own. You can count on my magic, Aircrest. Thank you, Master Kellenthier. I mean, I did give him my finest whiskey. Oh, they've even got nice little shadows on the ground. Nice, dude. Like, I'm actually really, really feeling this right now. This has me actually moderately excited. Like, all I've ever really wanted is, like, a modernized single-player RuneScape. Sounds really awesome to me. Uh, the game does use click to move, just like RuneScape. Oh, he's shooting arrows at me. No. Block. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, wiped him out. Wizard hit him with some kind of weird nunchuck move. A nunchuck move that deals way more damage than what I do. And as you can see, we've got little attack and defense meters going up right here. Every time we get smacked, or every time we smackinate somebody. Let's get on in here. Block. 
Cool. Defense level four. I don't think I can loot the dead guys. It doesn't look like they have any type of, like, looting prompt. Apparently, I'm now allowed to put on sheepskin bracers. Said this would be an easy job. I lost half of my men. Who knows how many more are still scattered in the woods. You aren't paying me enough. Shut up and look. The brave fool chased us. You'll get your gold. Twice what we agreed, but I need you to fight right now. Surrender or die. Well, I ain't surrendering. Arm yourselves. Cool. I mean, I I'm fine. I'm fine with the death option. This is a perfect opportunity for me to cement my glory in the annals of what's my fl the Lord's Wood history. There we go. Imberholt or wherever the hell it's. I don't know the name of my own lands. Okay. I'm not really like good at this bureaucracy stuff. I mostly hang out in a castle and party. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, there's one guy chasing my wizard with an axe. I know when I'm beaten, I surrender. Surrender's not an option, dude. You're going to the gallows. As tonight's guest of honor, there's... Ah, weak, dude. We're showing mercy. What we need to do is we need to bring him back to the party. We need to set up the guillotine. And he is now the after-dinner entertainment. We need to show... We, have, we already have the entire court gathered. This is the perfect time to make an example. I won't let this stop my banquet from going ahead. That's right. I didn't spend all day making this carne asada for nothing. Very good, young lord. In that case, I'll see if there's more whiskey left. Have all the whiskey you want, dude. One one lesson that I've learned in life is that the guy that throws high-powered fireballs, that's the guy that you give everything that he wants. The guy that can fire, like, 60-millimeter mortar shells out of his hands. My guests and fellow countrymen. I welcome you to this feast tonight, symbolizing strength and unity in our realm. As you should all know, I have steadfastly defended our lands against outside invaders, but today we're reminded that Emberthale has also has enemies within. Unchecked greed is a terrible beast. I stuffed the beast in the dungeon for now. He will not foil our celebration. Enjoy the banquet, my friends. My lord, don't think we forget the support you showed us against Goldbridge's ambitions. We are grateful. Words alone cannot describe our gratitude, except this gift. Thank you for the heavily notched garbage knife. I appreciate it. A sword from our best steel. May it serve you in future battles. I'm truly honored. Thank you. It's all notched up and messed up, dude. It doesn't even have a gem in the blade. How can it be a cool fantasy sword if it doesn't have a magic gem on the blade? Or like a dragon on it somewhere? I wasn't worried for a moment. I knew you'd figure it out. Things might have ended differently if the mage hadn't gotten involved. Maybe, but he did. You've always been one to have allies, you know. Look, half the guests have retired or passed out by now. I think it's time we retire as well. Yeah, one thing though, that guest over there. The woman with the silver hair, who is she? I thought she was someone that you knew. It's finally here, Rothar. It found you. I'm afraid your rest has to end and a nightmare has to begin. What? I only hope one day you'll find peace again. Farewell, Lord Rothar Aircrest. You want to tell me what that was all about? Honestly, I don't have the faintest idea. Let's just go.
Welcome back to the land of the living, Lord Aircrest. Did you enjoy your sleep? We're feeling lost, are we? Understandable. After all, you've been slumbering in a grave for a century now? Ah, that's right, Lord Aircrest. Take a moment. Let that sink in. It may have eluded you in the afterlife, but you've been dead for quite some time. I'm merely here to wake you from those illusions. It was in the middle of a banquet. I need to get back. A banquet, was it? Well, how lovely that sounds, Lord Aircrest, but the reality is, whatever banquet you held only exists in a history book now. You were merely reliving within the dream. Why would you do this? You can call me Gabrius, a mage of extraordinary talent, in case that wasn't entirely obvious, and I need a servant. A blackguard, if you will, and that's where you come in. You will find that you've been put under a curse of enslavement to obey my every command. Why did I, what did I do to you? Nothing personal, Lord Rothar. History remembers you as a capable man, something that comes in short supply in this backwater excuse for a land. Finding you wasn't easy. Someone had taken great pains to remove your body from your family crypt, hide it here in this forsaken cemetery. I expect you will prove your worth. I have no intention of helping you. Not willingly. Perhaps, but then my magic gives you no choice. The sooner you learn to accept that you are powerless, the easier this will be. Will you let me go? We'll see. Promise to serve me, and perhaps in due time, once you've expended your usefulness to me, I may show you mercy. To begin with, I need you to dig up a little secret buried in the woods. What secret? We'll discuss that, but not here. Make it out of the cemetery. There's an abandoned shack outside the Spruce Shade Village. We should be out of sight from curious eyes there. What curious eyes? We made it to the title screen. Dude, I was a good YouTuber today. I made it to the title screen. I never make it to the title screen. What a good day to be alive. So here we are inside the graveyard. Do I have like a torch or anything I can light? It's kind of dark and murky here. It's got like a, like a volumetric thing going on that makes it hard to see. So it looks like I can go back this way. I will do that. Oh god, okay. Alright, lightning doesn't lighten me. This is no natural storm. I need another way out. Okay, yeah. Rocks fall, the party dies. Understandable. It's an old trope, but it checks out. Uh, inside our inventory, it looks like we've got bones, we've got some ashes, we've got a hundred bucks, we've got a skull, we've got our wedding ring. That's depressing. We've also got the arm steel sword, and it looks like it's better than what we have, so I guess I'll put the arm steel sword. I, we, at least we got to bring that with us. That's good. A zombie. <laughs> nice. The zombie's down. Looks like he dropped the copper dagger. Some coins. A peasant outfit. Okay. Looks like I can pick dandelions. Oh, nice, dude. It's leveling up my alchemy, like, super fast. I think this demo is limited to level 30, but you can go play the demo right now, by the way. I don't know if I shouted that out when I when I did the beginning portion of my video, but, like, you are allowed to go play this demo right now if you want to check it out. Does that help with my alchemy? So picking berries doesn't look like it actually does anything for me, but it does restore HP, so these are like little health potions. Can I put them on my hotbar? I can. Nice. Okay, so I can... What happens if I, like, max out the graphics, dude? I thought the graphics were maxed out, but I don't find this game to be unpleasant to look at. I think they've matched the source material, which is RuneScape, like, very, very well, in fact. It's a game that's pleasing to the eye, even though it's on the side of minimalism. And I don't mind minimalism done well. It's just, like, general minimalism that tends to not work for me. You find the caretaker lying on the ground with a massive wound. He's bleeding heavily and will not last long. He shifts his gaze to you. Quite the storm, hey? Must have been the necromancer's doing. Blocked the only way in and out. Can I help you? Kindness from an undead monster. I was not expecting that. You could still save me. I shan't need but a simple healing potion, but I need one quickly. I don't see any potions around. If you can find one, maybe possible to make one. There's an old alchemy workbench in the crypts. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What are the ingredients? 
red berries and dandelions. Well, isn't that simple? All right, well, let's go grab our red berries then. Well, that Skeletor wants to fight me. Fight me in the bushes, bro. That's how you know I'm dedicated to war. I'll fight you in the bushes. Only, only the gnarliest fights happen in the midst of the begonias, bro. A morning star. Cool. Oh, I need level 5 attack to equip it. Is plus 5 to our melee damage? Armsteel sword gives us better accuracy, though. Looks like my plate mail is shockingly. Um, my plate mail is better than a peasant garb, in case you were wondering. So there's a crypt over there. There's a chicken right there. Let's go into the crypt. They said the alchemy Burke bench was in here, and I want to give this guy the potion. Honestly, the writing's pretty good, too. Like, for a little indie title that's, like, I've never heard of and has no coverage whatsoever, this seems to be put together fairly well. It feels nice to play. It feels... What is taking so long? Speak to me, slave. What happened? The storm blocked the road out. Oh, then do so. One of the crypt's entrance surfaces is on the other side at the outskirts of the Spruce Shade Village. All right. I will go. But first, I... Oh, I like the little mini-map, too. That's a nice little mini-map. That makes me happy. Ain't nothing but a rat in here. I didn't really want to kill the rat. I actually like rats. Like, I know a lot of people don't like rats, but I think rats are super adorable. Like, whenever my house gets mice, which has only been a couple times, but, like, I always feel bad when the mice have to go. Like, when you have to, like, use traps and stuff, because they're, like, super cute, dude. Erg, says the alchemist. Ooh, explosive potions. I'll take those. Is he going to get mad at me for taking the potions? Ooh, empty vials, too. Mortar and pestle, I will take that. I'm just going to kind of, like... Oh, the potions don't stack. So they've got the inventory limitations just like RuneScape. I'm sort of curious why that is. Like, we do have what looks like like a general chat or something over here, but I don't know if we can talk to other players or anything. As far as I know, this is single player. But I'm sort of curious about the inventory limits because I remember, since I'm an OG with RuneScape, Playing since, like, I remember when Rune Chain was the newest thing they released. I was so excited. But anyways, as I recall, RuneScape, the inventory size, was initially created in order to confine the economy. That was the entire point of it. Uh, so your inventory size was limited because that would limit how many things you could run to market and how many things you could craft at once. Uh, it basically created a time gap that kept the market from being flooded uh, with too many of similar goods. And so anyways, in a single player game, I'm not sure why you would need the inventory limit, since that's not really a concern, right? Huh. Then again, you guys know me. Oh, it looks like some stuff stacks, so the vials stack. It's just the explosive potions don't stack. It looks like I can click it as well. And I can drink it. Part of me is really, really curious. Part of me is curious what will happen there if I drink the explosive potion, but hey. Uh, so it looks like we've got a mild painkiller potion, empty vial, five dandelions, three red berries. It looks like I may have to start out with something a little bit weaker. And I decided to go back up to the surface because we still need like a lot of dandelions and stuff in order to level up our alchemy enough. Ooh, zombie. If I go after him, can I throw the potion at him? Nice! That was awesome and I enjoyed every moment of it. Uh, we do need the brains to make more potions. I don't think we necessarily need the copper daggers. The downside is they're actually worth money, though. Is there anything interactable in here? There's a raw meat. There's a copper hatchet. Let's see here. It's for chopping wood. Oh, that's one of our basic tools. Nice. Okay, so that'll help out. That'll be good to have. For right now, I'm just going to ditch all the explosive potions. My inventory is just way too crowded right now for being this early on into the game. And so let's go murder these zombies over here. 
So it looks like there's a bunch of... Oh, that's a big zombie. He's got axe. We one-shotted him, though, so that's good. The brains also do not stack. I think I'll fight a couple zombies over here. And I think if I can loot both of those right there... Hey, we leveled up our attack to level 5. Nice. I mostly just kind of want the coins. I don't really care about the... Oh, I can equip a worn battle axe. Very good for me. Huzzah. I do like how the camera is pretty dynamic. Like, you can actually kind of pan... What it reminds me of is if you've ever played Neverwinter Nights, actually. That's kind of what this game reminds me of right now. That's like the big vibes. is like Neverwinter Nights with like a little bit of runescape in there. Okay, a lot of bit of runescape. Ooh, a helmet. Nice. I definitely want that. So the helmet lowers our spell resistance, but it does give us a cool hat that we can wear. The daggers are worth 20 bucks. That's worth 75 right there. Man, there's so many goodies around here. All right, well, let's just go ahead and we'll pick the dandelions and see if that's enough to level up our alchemy to five so that I can make the healing potion for the caretaker who's still just laying out in the rain uh, with an awful gut wound. It does look like that was enough to get us on our way. What else is going on, like, in the graveyard, though? Like, I kind of want to have a look around and make sure I don't miss anything. It seems like this is a game that's going to reward exploration and kind of looking around for things to do. So, like, what's down this little leftward path? Because that leads out of the zone from the dialogue we just had with the necromancers, so there's got to be other stuff around. 73 coins inside that crypt. I'll definitely take that. Go fight this zombie over here, too. Good stuff, good stuff. What you got over here? Just a copper dagger and a brain? All right. I do want that money. Let's get that cash. If nothing else, we're kind of like leveling up. There we go. Uh, we're leveling up our attack skills and whatnot without having to grind. Oh, we can get water out of there too. Cool. Okay, so you can get a bucket of water for probably cooking or something like that. If I remember from RuneScape, you had to make dough out of flour by having water buckets available. And you had to mill the flour by going to the mill. It was a big old long lengthy process, but 15 year old me was enamored by it. 20 years later, I'm like, man, I spent a lot of time on that game. But well, you know, it was fun at the time. All my friends from high school played. So like you jump onto RuneScape and like everyone you knew from school was on RuneScape on your buddy list. And then you had like aim open on the side, dude. It was just like, it was just like school never stopped. Like you had fun all day at school, kicking it with the homies. And then you had fun like all night at home. Still kicking it with the homies. Uh, we've got a silver ring here. That looks like it gives us health and range damage. Oh, we can only equip one ring at a time. No, it looks like we got another ring slot right there. Oh, no, that's something else. They've got a different symbol. Maybe that's a necklace? Uh, it's probably a necklace would be my guess. So we've got health, mana, accuracy. I think I'll just take the 13 health. Plus, wearing the wedding ring is really depressing because my wife has been dead for like 200 years. What if I do a magic spell? There you go. Alright, we're not very good at magic. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Oh, look at that, dude. My sorcery leveled up a little bit. Okay, so they gave you, like, a cantrip. Like, this is effectively the wizard's auto attack, which is nice, actually. Like, we don't have to craft a whole bunch of runes or anything in order to, like, attack a guy or anything else like that. Like, just to use, like, a basic attack, we don't have to farm runes or kind of any of that cumbersome stuff. It looks like they gave us just kind of a magical auto attack for the basic leveling. I will take the five coins. We already have a hatchet. Don't need the dagger. Don't really need the brain. Looks like I can chop down trees out here, too. Oh, a level three Zambi. I don't have a shield, so I can't, like, run my block ability on him. You just drop the brain. It looks like there's a spell strike potion and a crossbow over here. So it looks like they got all the bits and pieces. Like, if you want to be a ranged guy, you can be a ranged guy. If you want to be a melee guy, you can be a melee guy. 
I do want the spell strike potion just so I can drink it to get the flask back. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I just want the flask back. That's all. I don't really care about the rest of it. What's the crossbow doing? 55 bucks is what it's doing for me. We're going to sell that when we get to town too, provided that everybody doesn't just instantaneously light us on fire for being a zombie. I get the feeling that probably being a zombie is one of those things that's generally not encouraged in, in this medieval society. It's down this little road over here. A scavenger. Back, zombie. Any closer and I'll stab you. Calm down. You're not? You look pale and, well, shit. It's nice that I ain't the only living person left around here. I don't know about you, but I'll just stay quiet back here and wait for them to crawl back into their graves. What are you doing? Um, I ain't looting graves, if that's what you're thinking. I just pick things up, you know? Like stuff people might be lost or misplaced, and then I give it back to them for a finder's fee. Okay. Does he not actually want to trade? I was going to trade with him. Huh. Doesn't look like we can do anything with the little crit back there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the only way that we're getting out of here is by going through the dungeon. But let me make this guy's potion, and then I think we'll be okay. Hip hip hooray, it's potion crafting, potion crafting day. Do I have enough to make multiple? If I have enough to make multiple, you might as well make the multiples. Chances are somewhere along this fantasy adventure... I'm probably going to need a healing potion. These seem to be outcomes. Oh, the potions respawned? Weird. Is this single player? Now I'm beginning to question it because those explosive potions definitely respawned. Why would they respawn? Unless there was potentially other players that wanted to loot them? Now I'm just confused. Let's just go heal the caretaker and be an all-around good guy. Caretaker, thou hast been healed. You hand a healing potion to the caretaker who gulps it down. Truth be told, I wasn't ready to die yet. You may be undead, but I owe you my life. I won't breathe a word to anyone about what happened to you. I know folk might not be very understanding. What will you do now? I need to rest a while and let the potion do its work. I will sneak out behind you. All right. Look for me if you find yourself in Haywind. I can thank you there. He's going to give us smooches. What is the 600? Oh, it's alchemy XP. Okay. So quests in this game will... Oh, oh yeah, the skeleton respawn too. Interesting. Ooh, a shield? Hold up. Yeah, give me that shield. Definitely want that. There we go. Sword and board is my jam. Ooh, another crossbow too. And a fishing rod? Your game has fishy wishies in it? Okay. I know that's worth 55 bucks, so I'm definitely taking that. I'm already like trying to optimize my inventory for the amount of money I can make here. I've been throwing out stuff that doesn't, like, I've been throwing out cheaper stuff, keeping better stuff. We could probably chuck the dandelions and the brains for now, I guess, too, and the bones. Hopefully I can gather more later, but for now it doesn't seem important to me. All right, let's smack the enemy, but I did find a spell book, and it seems like the UI is pretty tastefully appointed. Like, it's not too hard to find what you're looking for in this game. And when it comes to the UI design, anyways. It's a ghostesses! Let's beat him down. If I have to be undead, I'm gonna make sure nobody else gets to be. So I'm a jerk like that. Ooh, a whiskey, eh? Was the shield worth anything? So the whiskey's worth five bucks. The breakfast of champions, it says. Shield's worth 50 bucks. So yeah, we definitely want to keep a couple of those shields on us too. I'd like to be in the market to make 400 or 500 bucks when I find a shop. Connection status disconnected. Oh, dude. Interesting. Why would that be there? Curious. Oh, we got a roasting stick over here though. I will cook this rat in the name of culinary science. That's right. 
Gordon Ramsay is with me. I don't know if I need a skull. So there is a bridge and it is up. I don't have the level required to equip the spruce bow. Oh, there's a spruce bow sitting by the fire. You just can't really see it unless you highlight it. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that we have a level one bow, like a little, little, little tiny baby bow. Hey, all right. Looks good to me. Is there a way to set up like presets for my equipment? That feels like something that I would want, but I don't know if it exists. So like, can I set up a ranged and a melee option that I can freely swap between by like hitting a hotkey? Cause that would be rad. I think it's gonna take a little while to level up our archery. Okay, so if you take hits in melee, it slows down your archery fire. Archery seems to be pretty decent, though. Like, it's not struggling. It's definitely dropping kids out here. Honestly, I find the archery animation to be really satisfying, too. This is a very, very well-appointed game. Like, I like pretty much everything about it so far. I don't really have anything to complain about. Looks like there was a bunch of steaks and food inside of there. Looks like they're just healing items. Got 55 coins. Does that door open? I don't have the right key to open the door. Okay. Guess we'll have to track that down. Copper round shield, fishing rod. Looks like they give you most of the stuff you need to get started, too. Oh, you can climb down the rocks as well. Look at that. They even put in a little animation. They didn't, like, teleport you to the bottom or teleport you back up. They, they just put in kind of like a little stiff climbing animation. A broken plank, a roasting stick. Does it just like want me to make a bunch of food over here? Is that like, I don't get what they're going for right now. My inventory is so full and my heart is so depressed at all this loot that I cannot pick up. Repair the broken plank. That's going to be for carpentry skill, isn't it? You need a hammer, nails, and a plank to fix this. Well, there's a bunch of barrels over here. We got nails, so that was the first thing that we needed. We got a hammer, and it looks like that pretty much uh, solves the problem. There we go. Let's go fix our plank over on this side and go get our treasure chest. We've earned it. To the treasure! Yeah, this is Black Grimoire. I will say that I like the game tremendously. A control of your character feels really, really good. The game is properly animated uh, with all the things it needs to be animated with. It went with a minimalist graphic style, but there is still detail that exists in between the minimalism. Like, there's a lot of things here that I like. There's a lot of things happening that are jumping out at me as, like, something that I'm impressed by. And so, any, what is that? Mild healing potion. Okay, you don't want to. You don't want to see the spicy. Believe me. I guess I'll take the hammer, but I'm pretty much full up. It says it's for blacksmithing. Maybe I'll get some kind of storage or something later on. Oh, he gave me a book of alchemy. I thought it gave me the XP already, but you got to read a little book that you get as the quest reward. Nice. Uh, but this is Black Grimoire. I hope you guys liked it. I will see you all later. I have no complaints. I'm actually really excited about this. I want it to come out right now, and I want to play it super bad. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, da-da-da, Black Grimoire.
Tomorrow it will be something else. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I appreciate it. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye, folks.